All students have the right to an education and the right to learn. To be treated politely, fairly, and respectfully. Bring complaints or concerns to your school principal or staff. To be told in person and in writing the reason for any disciplinary actions. To tell your side of the story. To feel safe at school without fear or worry. But students also have responsibilities. Attend school daily and always be prepared for your classes. Help create a safe learning environment by holding classmates accountable by using positive peer pressure. But with positive peer pressure. Respect yourselves, others, teachers, administrators, and visitors to this building. Know and follow school rules and instructions. Accept responsibility for our actions. But the school also has responsibilities. But the school also has responsibilities. Keep everyone safe. Provide everyone with an equitable and accessible education. Create a safe learning environment that's free of distractions, bullying, harassment, intolerance, discrimination, violence, and intimidation. Just like your parents, we have the right to enforce certain guardrails in order to keep you and everyone in the building safe. Protect the privacy and rights of students. Baby, come give me something, oh. Baby, come give me something, oh. Hi, my name is Teresa, the head building custodian at Jackson High School. We have been deep cleaning since May to get the building ready for the upcoming school year. We have identified areas in the classroom and throughout the building that are considered high touch areas. You will notice additional staff assisting with the cleaning of the high touch areas throughout the building during the school day. Our afternoon and midnight custodial staff will be doing their normal cleaning in addition to the high touch areas. We will be utilizing the HVAC and air handler system for extended hours beyond the student and extracurricular school day. We look forward to seeing you this school year. Go Bears! Is it over the nose? You have to wear them over the nose. Right. Okay, thank Got you. It. Thank you. Stop! Polar Bear, you need your mask on too! Before you enter the building, be sure to put on your mask. breath or difficulty breathing, fatigue, muscle or body aches, Ouch. headaches, loss of taste or smell, congestion or runny nose, nausea or vomiting, and diarrhea. <laughs> Please stay home and stay safe. Grace, what are you doing? I'm washing my hands. But you're not washing your hands right. What do you mean? First you have to rinse your hands. Then you have to put soap in your hands, and then you have to rinse for 20 seconds. Okay.
Better? Much better. Thanks. So what are you saying about your mom? <laughs> <laughs> my, mom yeah, my mom actually bought it for me. She bought it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys, you're not socially distancing. Oh, okay. My bad. We'll, we'll back up. It's really important if we want to keep our schools open for as long as possible. Yeah, for sure. Thanks for reminding us. <laughs> yeah. There's a 20 mile per hour speed limit. Be cautious, pedestrians have the right of way. Cars are subject to search at any time. Driving privileges may be revoked. Hi Mr. Gagliardi, I have my money for my parking pass. Great, your parking pass must be displayed on your rear view mirror and visible for security and you have to have it by Friday, August 28th. Here's your parking pass. This parking lot at the front of the building is student parking and the parking pass color for the front is black and then for the back of the building the parking pass color is blue for students as well. Your parent or guardian must bring in your prescription medication to the attendant's office where they will fill out authorization forms. They must give the attendant's office a copy of your prescription and notify the attendant's office of any changes in the prescription. Students also must take the medication in the attendant's office. Students may carry over-the-counter medications as long as a parent has given permission on the first day form. Approximate bus drop-off time is 7.30 a.m. instead of 7.20 a.m. Students will enter through the door where they are dropped off. They may go to their locker if they need to, then report straight to first period. Lockers are to be used at the beginning and end of the day only. Teachers will have their rooms open at 7.15 so that you are not jumbled up in the car. And students will be allowed to eat their grab-and-go breakfast in their classroom, and zero period students will be allowed in the commons until the bell at 640. Hmm, I could really use a drink right now. Yo, yo, whoa, 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 whoa. Come on, man. There's a pandemic going on. Not allowed to drink from it. Water bottles only. Well, what am I supposed to do? Yeah, Will. Take your water bottle and fill it up. Oh, come on, dude. All right, JHS students, if you have a class on the third floor, you can go ahead and leave now. Okay. JHS students, if you have a class on the second floor, you can go ahead and leave now. All right, JHS students, if you have a class on the first floor, you can go ahead and leave now. 
Have a nice day. Okay, Jackson High School students, it is now 2.35. All drivers are dismissed. Attention Jackson High School students, it is now 2.40. All bus riders are dismissed. Extracurricular activities, you may now go to those. Thank you, have a nice day. <laughs> Be kind and stay safe. Have a great school year. What's up, Jackson High School? We are going to be talking about dress code today, the worst and best part of high school. <laughs> so you're allowed to wear whatever to express your individuality, but you have to dress cautiously and appropriately so you don't get dress coded. And even if you are dress coded, don't sweat it. It's okay. The administration yep. has the final say on it. Yep. And it's your responsibility to know the general guidelines. Mm -hmm. I broke the dress code more than once. And now you're an ADA. Book bags are allowed during the school day. Remember, don't wear items that obscure your identity besides face your, your face masks. No bandanas, no sunglasses, no hats, no insane jewelry. No hats. All students that are buying a lunch will report to a seat in the commons. Students will then be dismissed by tables to purchase their lunch. All students in 4th, 5th, and 6th period lunch that are packing will report to the main gym balcony, A101, and the lecture hall as needed. All students in 7th period lunch that are packing will report to the commons as there will be enough space to facilitate them. Seniors will be allowed to utilize senior patio beginning on the first day of school. Good morning, Jackson High School. I'm Ms. Conti and I'm the librarian here in the Learning Commons or the TLC as everybody refers to us. And we just wanna go over a few procedures uh, that most of you are familiar with, but for our new students especially, just remember we're always happy to see you here and we hope that you come visit us often. We are open every day, Monday through Friday at 6.45 and we close every day at 3.30 except for Friday. Fridays we close at, at 3 o'clock. Uh, if you would like to come visit us during the day in your study hall, the procedure is very simple. Please just get a pass from your classroom teacher. So if you have work to do for your English class, uh, then please get a note from your English teacher. And when your study hall comes around, so if you have six period study hall, please just come straight here and sign in right here at the desk. And uh, Mrs. Wolf or me or Mrs. Williams will help you out and get you signed in. And it's a very simple thing. So the mo most important thing is just remember, please don't go to your study hall. We just wanna save that time and save the traffic in the hallway come straight here and you'll stay for the whole period then. Uh, you can get help with peer tutoring as well. Students with uh, early dismissal or late arrival, we're always happy to have you come in too. And CCP students, if you have free time in your schedule and you'd like to come in here and get your work done, we're always happy to have you too. Again, just come straight up here to the circulation desk and we'll sign you in. Remember about our Learning Center as well. This is a place that you can come during any period of the day to get help on your schoolwork, whether it's from one of our classroom teachers who's in here or from one of our peer tutors. This is also the place that you can come when you have a makeup test. So if you do have a makeup test, your teacher will send you here for it, and this is where you would sit to take those. We also have our computers over here so that you can print anytime you need to. This is the only place in the building that students can come to print during the day. 
Uh, so please remember that too. We're always ha happy to help you to print. So I'm here in our fiction section. Uh, things will be a little bit different this year as far as normal book browsing. Basically, if you would like a book, uh, I'll have you come and talk with me about it. Uh, you just won't be able to come and pick books up off the shelf and then put them back. So we will talk about your next book choice together and I'll always be happy to come back and help you get the book for you. And then don't forget about our digital library as well, our Overdrive digital library, and we can always help you with that too. Don't forget that we're always happy to see you in the TLC. Come in any time that you need help. Hey everyone, I just want to remind you the three respects that we talk about even when you first started here in this building. First and foremost, it starts with respect for you and yourself. You got to take care of yourself. Next, it goes to respect for others, your classmates, your teachers, anybody in our building. And third, we got to make sure everybody respects the purple and gold, the way we carry ourselves when we're in this building and outside of this building every day. And also, don't forget. Hi, everyone, and welcome back to Jackson High School. I'm smiling under my mask. Everyone stay safe and healthy. You're gonna make a bunch of new friends this year. We're here for you if you need us. Be kind and stay safe. Have a great school year. No bears. Congratulations, you made it to the end of this video.